Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American comedy heist film called The Perfect Score. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Kyle is a normal high school senior, aiming to get into Cornell University's architecture program. He knows exactly what he wants in life, but the SAT is standing in between him and his dreams. In the opening scene, he is in the examination hall, looking through the answer sheet that is telling him he is just an average guy. After the examiner asks them to stop writing, Kyle looks around and locks eyes with Anna. She has a 4.0 GPA and is the second highest ranking student of the school. What makes it surprising is that her answer sheet is completely blank. In the background, it is narrated that students might be good at different things. Some are better at singing and others at sports. But according to the SAT, everyone has to pass a standardized examination that will determine their future. The narrator thinks it is unfair, so he calls the SATs a suck ass test. Got him. The results are published and Kyle scores 1020 as opposed to the minimum 1430 that he needs to get into his preferred college. He complains to the principal about the absurd method that the SAT uses to test the students. According to Kyle, math equations and complicated social scenarios are not the way to determine if a student should get to go to their dream college. The principal receives hundreds of students after every test, complaining about how unfair it is, but all of them have one thing in common. Their score is less than what they need. For him, Kyle is just one of many, so he dismisses the conversation after giving him the same lousy advice that he delivers to every student. Then, we are introduced to Maddie, Kyle's dumb best friend and his right-hand man. He has an average GPA of 2.3 and is not so good at studying. Maddie's girlfriend, Sandy, is a freshman at Maryland College, so his only goal in life is to join Maryland and hook up with her one more time. Kyle tells him that he lied to his parents about scoring 1430. The poor fellows even bought him a cake to congratulate him. His elder brother, Larry, is a bigger idiot than Maddie. He lives on top of his parents' garage that he claims is a different house because it has a separate phone line. Larry accidentally blows the zero from the candles and jokes about how he got a 143 SAT score back in his day. Later, the friends go to the Educational Testing Service Center, commonly known as ETS, to complain about the unfair system. However, the receptionist stops them because many students like them come to complain about their SAT scores every day. As they are asked to go away, a girl proudly walks into the building. She is the talk of the town and the dream of every high school guy, Francesca. She walks into the building like she owns it, which is untrue because her father is the one that owns it. That evening, Kyle and Maddie drink while thinking of a way to ace the next test. Maddie calls his girlfriend Sandy, but a man picks up her phone. The call ends in only a second, but Maddie registers that she is cheating on him. He blames the SATs and suggests they steal the answers for the next test. Kyle laughs it off at first, but starts to take the idea into consideration. The next time they meet, he asks Maddie if they were to borrow the answer sheets from ETS, how would they go about it? Maddie suggests they ask Francesca for help, since she can enter the ETS headquarters anytime she wants. Moreover, she is an adrenaline junkie and will do anything to have fun. A heist is right up her alley, so the guys are positive she will join them. When she is briefed about the plan, she immediately agrees. Then, we are introduced to a star basketball player, Desmond. He plans to join St. John's University and play for their team. Even the dean is happy to have him. However, he has to take the SATs and score at least 900 to get into college. Desmond is excellent at math, but that would still not be enough for him to make it. Kyle and Maddie are in the school's bathroom when Kyle reveals that he told the school topper, Anna, about their plan. He has a crush on her but refuses to admit it. Maddie freaks out because she is one of the nerds who will probably tell the police. But Kyle assures him they are fine because she refused to be part of their plan anyway. The two had thought they were alone in the bathroom and are surprised when the school junkie, Roy, appears in one of the stalls. Kyle and Maddie hope that he is too high to understand what they said, but the guy is used to being highly alert, even when high. At last, they have to reluctantly include him in the plan. 
At night, Anna returns home to see that her parents have called a professor from Brown to help her get into university. She is tired of them pushing her to do better because she doesn't even want to go to an Ivy League university in the first place. Since she zoned out in the last SAT, they have been pressuring her more than ever. The next morning, Francesca, Kyle, Maddie, and Roy go to the ETS headquarters and devise a plan for a simple heist. Francesca provides them with the uniforms from the mailroom and makes them enter the ETS floor without any problem. They had asked Roy to stay outside, but he somehow enters the building on his own and includes himself in the plan. Then, the group separates and goes around the office trying to figure out which cabin has the SAT answer sheet. Meanwhile, in the school library, Desmond meets Anna and asks her to help him to prepare for the SAT. However, Anna herself is stressed about the test and is scared she will mess up again. She thinks of joining Kyle on his heist and also tells Desmond about the plan, hoping it would help him. Back in the headquarters, a woman finds Roy snooping through her office. She is about to report him, but he uses his poor flirting skills to make her stop. Even though his pickup lines are lame, she seems to enjoy them. In the other room, an office worker calls Kyle and hands him the SAT question sheet. Kyle is left stunned, but it turns out that the man mistook him for a worker in the copy room. He asks Kyle to print two copies of the paper and hand them back. Kyle happily goes to the copy room, but accidentally shreds the paper instead of copying it. They are back to square one because of his stupidity. Following that, Anna meets Kyle and asks to be included in the plan along with Desmond. Kyle had lost hope, but now that Anna wants to be part of the plan, he thinks of another way to acquire the paper. He collects the blueprint of the building from Francesca and asks her to get all the security codes. Anna spies on headquarters security guard and finds out the routine of the rounds he takes every night. Then, they decide to meet at Kyle's brother's place to go over the plan one last time. While Francesca is coding something, Roy helps her, proving that he is a technical genius. Kyle keeps it in mind because they might need his help in case of an emergency. In other words, in case they need to do a stupid 90s hacker scene. Then, he briefs them on the plan. Although it is a little shaky and success isn't guaranteed, the group agrees to help him. The next day, Roy, Desmond, and Anna stay outside the ETS headquarters to keep an eye on the building's guard. Meanwhile, Kyle and Maddie enter the building and wait until the top floor is cleared. When all the employees go home, Francesca distracts the security guard, giving the two an opportunity to run to the roof. From there, they use a rope to enter the topmost floor and get to the room where the papers were supposed to be kept. However, it turns out that the floor has been renovated since the blueprint was made, and they do not know where the papers are. They refuse to return empty-handed and start brainstorming other ideas. Kyle remembers that the man who ordered them to print the papers also has a copy on his desk. They go to his office and start looking around with their flashlights. Just then, the security guard steps outside to smoke. The flashes of their lights are clearly visible from the guard's view, so Anna quickly calls the group to alert them. They turn the lights off seconds before the guard sees them. After that, they finally find the room they are looking for, but the answer sheets are nowhere to be found. As a last resort, they try to open the computer, but it requires a password. They call the technical genius Roy for help, but they will have to distract the guard before letting him in. This time, Maddie comes up with a plan and calls his friend to deliver flowers and alcohol to the guard's name. When the guard is busy receiving the gifts, Roy runs inside. Along with him, Anna and Desmond also come, thinking that they might be of help. Then, Roy predicts the password using a picture on the table. The group finally gets their hands on the question paper, but to print it out, they will need three more passwords. They lose all hope and are about to return, but Kyle refuses to give up. He says that they can solve the answers in time before the guard comes for a routine round. Everyone else laughs at him because if they could answer the questions, they wouldn't have to be there in the first place. He reads the first question out loud, and Anna answers it instantly. She couldn't answer the questions in a classroom because of stress, but when she is with them, she can easily solve the paper. Desmond is also excellent at math, so he and Roy solve the math portion of the test, while Anna and Kyle solve the verbal. Lastly, Francesca and Maddie are told to watch the lobby. While waiting, they get into a conversation about Maddie's girlfriend Sandy, who doesn't call him anymore. 
Francesca tells him that it is over and asks him to get over her. But Maddie gets irritated by the comment. Suddenly, she kisses him and claims that he would be a good boyfriend to whoever he loves. A while later, they get done with the questions and finally get ready to leave. Roy tries to climb up first, but the others pull him down, noticing that he has stolen supplies from the office. Desmond makes him put them back in their places while the others continue climbing up. Anna and Kyle easily make it to the top, but the security guard comes for the rounds before the others can escape. Desmond, Maddie, and Roy are in the safe zone, but Francesca is about to be caught. At that moment, Maddie decides to come in front of the guard to save her. While the others climb to the rooftop, he surrenders and is arrested. Well, no one said simpin' was easy. The next morning, Francesca steals money from her father and bails Maddie out. They reunite and kiss. Maddie doesn't want to take the SATs anymore because he thinks he's better off not going to college. He wants to take a year off to find out what he wants to be in life. Anna is also a different person from who she was yesterday. She stands up to her mother for the first time and declares that she isn't going to Brown. Following that, the group gathers and Kyle hands them the answers. However, Anna refuses to take them because she wants to go to Europe for college. Desmond and Roy also do not want it because Roy wants to start creating online games and Desmond has gained confidence after solving the questions during the heist. Francesca, who already had a perfect SAT score, has no use for the answers and Maddie is also not taking the test. At last, Kyle too refuses to use them. Because they are of no use now, Roy hands them to his junkie friends, who ace their test because of it. A few months later, Desmond takes the retest and gets into his desired university. Maddie starts to audition for acting roles, while Francesca sells her first novel. Kyle also does fine on his retest. Although he doesn't get into his preferred college, he still dreams of being an architect. Anna, on the other hand, moves to Europe for further studies. She starts dating Kyle and frequently returns to New York to meet him. Lastly, Roy sells a hit online game, making millions of dollars. In the ending scene, we see him living his best life. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.